Hi, this is Amin Parker. And let's see, what's going on here? Oh, a software update for Fire Emblem. Hmm. Well, I'm nowhere near the internet right now. So, I have to wait until I'm in a Wi-Fi area to do my software update. Anyway, like I said, my name is Amin Parker and Currently, I'm playing Fire Emblem Engage right there, as you can see. And the title right here that I've completed not too long ago is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Um, so I have a JRPG library going on here. Um, so my favorite company of all times is, no, no doubt, Nintendo. You know, I love all of their products you know all their products they make great games and personally to me they make the best games in the video game industry you know I love the controller I love the fact that you can take the game on the go or you can hook it up to your TV you can play it on the TV very innovative right very very innovative idea the fact that you can take these controllers apart you know and you can play your game almost like you're playing the original Wii because these are motion sensor you know devices here it's amazing you know, I'm sure the competition would want to copy this, but they're already stuck on a track where they have to focus on only the TV and not hybrid, which is TV and on the go. You know, it's kind of hard to do that when you're already locked into a certain um, market. Unless they want to do like Nintendo, and then at, the, at that point, they're going to be competing against Nintendo, who is the king of handheld gaming. So, it's going to be a hard choice for the competition, whether or not they want to do that. But nonetheless, I want to talk about how much I appreciate what Nintendo does. They currently make three of my favorite games right now, okay? Xenoblade Chronicles... Fire Emblem, and The Legend of Zelda. These three franchises, to me, are so important for Nintendo in order for them to truly compete against their competition. You see, you have to have a strong JRPG library in order to win a generation. You really have to have the best JRPG library. So for Nintendo to have three, let's just be honest here, two serious JRPGs and one semi, I guess you can call it, sometimes you could call it JRPG-ish, but it's more action adventure, but it has JRPG qualities in a sense, and that's Zelda. Zelda isn't really known as a JRPG, right? But I guess you can kind of like put it almost in that area. Zelda attracts mature hardcore gamers. Gamers that want to want to explore an open world. That's what Zelda brings to the table. That's how Nintendo competes against their competition. Because their competition usually always has strong third party support. And Nintendo is somewhat debatable in that. There's generations where they will have strong third party support, and then there's generations where they won't. So in order for Nintendo to always survive, they have to be able to conquer every single genre of gaming. And by them having two very popular JRPGs, their traditional JRPG is Xenoblade. So if you want a traditional JRPG and you are a Nintendo fan, you gotta invest in Xenoblade. It's one of the best JRPGs in the industry. Fire Emblem is a strategy RPG. 
strategy JRPG. But in this genre, it is one of the best, if not the best, strategy JRPG in the industry. And then we all know Zelda's history. We all know how important and how beloved that franchise is. So that even goes without saying. So with these three series, I feel very happy being a Nintendo fan. And Nintendo is always coming out with new franchises regularly. And they have such a strong history. You can never go wrong with Mario. Never. One of the most legendary, if not the most legendary franchise of all time. So I really truly love this system. It's brought me so many years of fun. I love this company more than any company on this planet. This is my most favorite, beloved, cherished company in history. Okay? And I think I'm going to stop it there. You know, I'm going to get back to playing my game. I'm having such a wonderful time. And that's it.